Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, we're going to have one of my very favorite spirit energies to connect with. Come in and share with us, Ms. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn has a playlist here at Above Life Channel. If you really enjoy old Hollywood or you have such a connection or a draw to Marilyn, this is the video for you. So let's have a chat. Hey, Mayor, it's great to see you. Whew. Marilyn always puts me in such a good mood, you guys. I love hanging out with you. It's been about two months or so since you and I have actually talked with intention. So I'm so happy to see you. She goes, oh, Bridget, hi. She literally does sound. I can hear her voice. It's so like this. And it's just so, she just makes me feel, you make me feel so happy, like just joyful. Like you have a genuine gratitude for life. And that is such a blessing and a gift. And I hope that you as a viewer can feel Marilyn Monroe's energy as a gift. Do not identify with her transition or the shortness or length of her life, but feel her joy, her joyful connection to grateful, just being grateful and having gratitude for life. Marilyn, we are going through a time of it. Current events have created a lot of stress, extra pressure, economically, physically, in relationships, and there's a lot of overwhelm. Can you give us some insight or some advice as we're moving through this unique time in our history? Oh, she says, oh, wow. Well. I'm not quite sure that anything I would share with you would be anything different than you've already heard before. It really isn't about any one circumstance or situation or thing. In your lifetime, okay, so here she stops and she's like kind of, it's interesting, she's getting on a pen and a paper like a journal and she's like writing, like so she's thinking for a moment and like the pen is like, She's thinking for a moment and then she starts to write again almost like I'm getting information from Marilyn in a chunk or a block of um, it's like infused knowledge kind of an energy or what some would refer to as maybe claircognizance but I'm also clairsentiently feeling her and I want you guys to do that at Above Life Channel that's what we focus on you're empathic you feel you're sensitive you feel that energy so let's practice feeling that energy and feel it good feel the hope Feel the uplifting energy of connection. Feel it, you can feel it. You don't have to be a psychic on some YouTube channel to feel it. Just open your heart to feel it. So she's writing on a pen. She's like, hmm, taking a moment and then writing again. It's not much different than any other thing that you've been challenged with or faced with. She said faced with in your life. It's really not that different. But you, you may find that you are different, that you want something different. And it's okay, it's okay to change your mind. You have freedom, you have so much freedom. It's not just the free will piece that, that, that people have talked about. It's that you really do have this power of freedom and it, freedom is like magic. This choice is like magic, it is like a magic wand. And, it, and I know that it doesn't seem like it should be that simple, but it is that simple. It is not as complicated as, as we all make it out to be. Even if other people are feeling that things are difficult or awful, or even the situations that you're facing, if, if you have a job loss, as one example, I'm sure many will be rippled or affected by that. And it, but it does not have to define you. Maybe there is something so much better and bigger for you and now you have time to create. Now you have time to really be able to pursue your dreams now. I know that if you're you know, waiting tables in a restaurant or if you have to take some kind of a job that isn't something that you would want to see yourself doing, then it's on you, it's up to you to really get out of that state of mind and do what needs to be done for the wellness, you know, the betterment of your family, 
to better your life and that sometimes things do happen, the obstacles that we face, to call us up into a higher version of ourselves, a better life. And that's not just something that you get when you're dead and that you look back on your life and can see, but you can actually have those kinds of experiences in your life now, live another life in the same life. And, and unfortunately, it can happen when you don't want it to happen or when you aren't planning for that to happen. But let's be realistic and let's recognize that opportunities just come up and you either have to show up for the audition or skip it and if you skip it you'll never get the part you'll never get to be part of that performance that experience you'll never get an award or recognition for that you will never get to to see what might have been i know marilyn that you have experienced a lot let me just, uh, I just got a hit in my belly, solar plexus. So that's your spirit. That's the solar plexus is, is where your spirit is within your body. And so I just got a hit there. I could feel that when she shared that it was like a, like a tightening up and then a letting go. So let's collectively breathe with intention to release the flow of energy of our heart, to release the flow of energy in our, our belly and the core of our being. Let our heart and our spirit just work together to unify, to create a unified response to whatever it is that our life is asking of us. Whatever task we are given, whatever challenges are, we're facing, that let's let our heart and our solar plexus, our spirit and our heart just work together, just come together and unify and that's maybe what people mean when they say we're in this together we'll all get through this what they maybe are the the spiritual meaning may be deeper than that as in you all parts of you body mind heart and spirit body mind heart and spirit and if you are in session with me as a private client or you've been in my group sessions you know that that body mind spirit body mind heart and spirit, those four aspects, body, mind, heart, and soul, body, mind, heart, and soul, is something that we, we say and that we utilize as an alignment, as a working together, a coming together, a strength, an empowerment, an encouragement, a team effort. All right, so Marilyn, I know that you've had difficult times in your life. I mean, you're one that would know how to deal with adversity and you know power through. And so your advice here during this, this, this time in our history is, is really, I think, important. We all play a part, she says. We all have a role to play. We all do. And it's not something to be taken lightly but it's not something to worry about. If you spend all your time worrying, then how can you be able, how, how will you be present? How will you be able to, to really be in the right consciousness and frame of mind to be able to say yes to that opportunity when it doesn't look like an opportunity? You really have to be open, open-minded, open-hearted, and open-eyed, wide-eyed. When you look at things, look at them differently from a place of, of opportunity. That's, that's the hope that you talk about all the time, Bridget. She says, that's the hope you talk about all the time. I know. It's something you have to feel though, right? You have to really resonate with that and really be drawn to that. Is there anything in particular, Marilyn, that you would share with us about health or wellness that, that would help us to feel um, better or more positively focused? Oh, I'm not one to talk about health. She says, I'm not one from life for my lifetime, I wasn't very good at that, I will say. But times were different, things were different and expectations were different. And now you know so much more, you know so much more than I ever did or than we ever did about the body and things you can do to be healthy. I think that the power of your mind though and your mental health is extremely important. In fact, that might be even more important than your physical health because without your mind, your physical health isn't even really a thing, is it? Because you won't even be aware that you have a physical body. <laughs> your mind is so important to make sure that it's, it's clear, that you're clear-headed and clear-minded. And there's so many different things that you can do for that. But try not to get too caught up and overwhelmed in other people's stuff 
in their opinions or views or to, to value or place more importance on that than on yourself and your own feelings and what you know for yourself to be true. That's something that I, I would say that perhaps I learned it the hard way or maybe I never learned it. I don't know that I could honestly say that I learned it. I can, sh I can share from a, a place of truth that my heart always guided me. And that's something that, a promise I made to myself that I would always love myself and take care of myself. And from the outside, it may not look like I was able to do that, but that's from the outside. What matters is what I know for myself. The same is for you. What is true for yourself? Can you say honestly that you love yourself beyond other people's expectations or judgments? I'm not saying that it doesn't hurt when someone says something nasty about you that's completely ridiculous. And even if it is true, that is just plain mean. It's just plain mean. There are people that are mean-spirited and they're just lashing out because they're so unhappy in their own miserable little lives. And that's all they know is misery. But you don't have to take that. You don't have to accept that. You don't have to even pretend that it matters to you. And it, and it can still hurt you. It can still hurt. It does still hurt. But you have to mean more to yourself than that. And clearly your heart is very big and bold or you wouldn't even be here connecting and sharing with us today <laughs> or any other time because you can it's not that difficult, you know, it's not that complicated. The mind makes it very complicated, but it is not that complicated to connect in the heart. And that's where you'll find me. And that's where I will find you too. Okay, Marilyn, when we connect, you guys can probably notice that we do share space. Like she literally comes in and kind of shares the energy space in front of me. And so I can really absorb some of her mannerisms, some of her phrasing, some of the way that she speaks. I am not like transformatively channeling her or she's not like coming into my body or anything like that. It's like a shared kind of energy space so that you, the viewers here at Above Life Channel can feel Marilyn Monroe's energy. And you feel her from a place of the positive spirit, the highly connected, heartfelt, loving, pure loving energy, not from tragedy or trauma, but from empowered, heartfelt energy. And that's the point. That's what I love so much about my friend, Marilyn Monroe from The Afterlife. Thank you so much, Mayor, for coming in and sharing with us some advice, some, some wise words, some encouragement during these interesting times on human earth. <laughs> that's for sure. Thank you so much. And thank you, I'm Bridget. It's my pleasure to channel for you here at Above Life Channel every week. Remember, the purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. The point is for you to live your life, to get encouraged to live your life. It's your life after all. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new channeling video. Thanks for being here. <laughs>